Uh, of TMZ regarding uh, the Bahamas nightmare a video shows chaos after a teen jumps in from a cruise search called off um, some teenagers decided to jump off the side of a cruise as a dare and if you look at the video I'm not going to play it because it's horrifying but if you look at the video somebody slowed it down and there's a section of the video where it looks like there may be a shark and it feels like there was a, you know it was like a shark infested waters so I'm just sure if that's true it might be just a shadow it might be I don't know something to do with the boat underneath I don't know but it looked like some sort of they look at some sort of shadowy figure underneath the fucking ocean as he's jumping into it and it looked like in the video he jumps into this ocean everyone's screaming at him um some people are picking him up and shit and then he starts swimming away from the fucking boat so maybe he saw the sharks but anyway regardless they called off the search and he's, he hasn't been found since but let's read the article a multi-day search for a louisiana teen who jumped from the sunset cruise in the bahamas has come to a tragic end and the last known sighting of him was caught in a harrowing video footage surfaced of 18 year old cameron robbins who had just graduated from high school in baton rouge swimming in the open seas at night near elton island last week where he was on sunset cruise with a bunch of his peers celebrating his um achievement i don't think i've ever been in a position i don't know if you guys are the same where peer pressure would drive me to do this never in my life never i don't think i've ever been there the most peer pressures made me do is maybe do drugs or maybe drink but something that would physically harm me it's not that funny or worth it and i would never let somebody and plus as well i think personally for me i'm the kind of person the more you tell me to do something the more i won't do it if that makes any sense so peer pressure could never really work for me in that way because i just wouldn't do it because you kept because you just because you asked me to do it that sort of thing but i can't imagine for some people if you do have that tendency to you know uh bow to peer pressure what it could do to you what well, you said they found these remains really they found these remains no don't say that let me see if this is true so live and direct updates on the go let's see if this is true no way robin's fell from the boat they say remains let's see let's see if they find the remains did they find these remains uh camera okay so far no look we don't have anything so far remains issue okay so maybe they haven't found these remains so far but i'm guessing they will soon anyway let's read it let's read, continue where does cameron went overboard on his own accord and not just that but apparently it was on a dare in this clip you can tell um these buddies were getting a kick out of it that is until he vanished under the boat and out of a view of everyone who began screaming at him to grab a life preserver that he'd been thrown um, which was pretty far away and he didn't end up reaching it once he disappeared everyone began to panic imagine being on a party boat like that right you're one minute you're in the fucking boat chilling having shots drinking dancing singing along and then suddenly you're out on deck fucking around and then a boy jumps into the ocean you're thinking it's just a prank he's gonna come back in on the deck some at some point drenched in water you're gonna be taking the piss out of him and taking selfies but then it transpires that he disappears and you never see him again <laughs> r.i.p to this kid man but a part of me feels like this is kind of natural selection at work if you're dumb enough to do this then you may be it was always on the, on the cards for you that your life was going to end this way as tragic as it may seem do you know what I mean? Because I can't imagine. Since he went missing, a multi-day search is undertaken by the Bahamian authorities and US Coast Guards, but Robbins was never found. The search has now been called off after several unsuccessful days. Days in the ocean. Days. Like, come on. The for scouring the area for any sign of him. It sounds like Cameron was, was has presumed dead as a coast issued a statement saying, we offer our sincere condolences to Cameron Robin's family and friends. His family flew into Bahamas last week. The prayer vigils have been held for him for a few days now. Absolute baby, man. His family also spoke out. The Bahamian government has called off the rescue for the Cameron and we're returning to Baton Rouge. We want to thank the Bahamans government and the US Coast Guard, the United Cajun Navy and the Congressman, Congressman sorry, Garrett Groves, Graves for everything that they have done for us. In this time of grief, we thank our family and friends and well wishes and we request privacy to remember our son and mourn his loss. Just graduated from fucking school as well. What are you doing, kid, man? Relax. Like, god almighty and how much of a dare how amazing is it really to jump off a boat it's not that big of a deal really i don't think so it's not enough to fucking make you a fucking star and to make you a legend or whatever group of your friends you have really it's not that impressive 
Um, so I don't know why he did it personally, but fuck, you know, when you're a kid, the things that you do that you think will make sense, it's just insane. And sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes you actually get away with it, but most time you don't. So RIP Cameron, I guess. 